The gladiators of the NFL clash in Phoenix for the Super Bowl on Sunday, and so will the titans of food. And so it might be the Super Bowl for the NFL teams, but it's also our Super Bowl as well. Pizza Hut says it will have 60,000 drivers ready to hit the road for deliveries. For the day, I mean, we'll probably do well over 2 million pizzas. Add a little cuisine geometry to the Super Bowl equation, and Pizza Hut expects to sell 47 football fields worth of sauce-laden pies on Super Bowl Sunday. Sideline to sideline, end to end. We're going to be selling about a million pounds of pizza cheese. We're going to have about a half million pounds of pepperoni, a half million pounds of pizza sauce. Another fan favorite finger food, chicken wings. We will sell roughly 500,000 wings. Pluckers, a wing chain in Texas, expects sales flying out the door. You're talking about uh, pre-orders, preservations. I've got to line out the door for people picking up food. Analysts say the Super Bowl Sunday is like the food industry's Black Friday. Both pizza and wings are items that increase dramatically, so these are their days, these are the days they look for. But there's also a healthy surprise. And we'll have our big platter of vegetables that we prepare, crudite. Your local supermarket vegetable counter will see the biggest sales. Well, that vegetable tray is an important part of the uh, Super Bowl Sunday parties. In fact, roughage and roots have been on top for decades. That'll be the number one food eaten in American homes on this Super Bowl Sunday. And the reason I know that, because it's been the number one food eaten for the last 30 years. A raw respite from the fried, greasy goodness Americans love at game time. John Moan, Associated Press, Dallas.